What is up you guys if the quality is looking funny it's because i want to go for my camera it's something wrong i was just trying to vlog off of it and it was saying no it's no it's no well not sd it just say no card inside of the camera and i have an sd card inside of it so i don't know what's going on so uh, i don't know so i decided to put the gopro out you know i always forget i got a gopro so yeah but basically uh I just want to talk to y'all a little bit about uh, Bloody Zilla. Uh, oh yeah, excuse my room if it's a mess. Uh, <laughs> you know how it is. You don't know what the way you just pull out, throw out everything. So yeah, I'm going right to it. So I don't know, you know, Bloody Zilla is two different stories. I said I was going to leave it in the past, but I just not heard back from Jimmy. And now he's like, you know, he hate that I think that he stole the car and I'm like, you know, I don't know what to say. Like, you know, I'm still like, I don't know which door is which, but here's another thing I found out. So basically, Bloody Zilla. So the day I went to go drive, I drove by the shop and Jimmy wasn't picking up his phone at all, like for a couple of weeks or whatever. Um, I seen their truck out there and then the truck the hard body truck where he had put a motor in before they was gonna leave, you know, and basically it got out of hand to where Mr. Terry wanted them out completely. He didn't care if they were homeless or anything. Well, coming to find out, you know, all those cars, my car including, those cars were gone when Jimmy and them, when Jimmy and Rosie got back, supposedly, and they didn't, you know, those were the last remaining cars at the shop, at Mr. Terry's shop, so they didn't, you know, I thought about it and they were like, how, how would they be able to, uh, you know, get rid of all them cars like that? And they went, you know, that same day, as a matter of fact, that same day, they were packing up to go straight to um, where, that, where that came from, West Virginia. And that same day, yeah, they went straight to West Virginia. They didn't, you know, pick up no phone calls or nothing. And, um, I'm like, oh, I didn't think, I didn't know about all that, you know. They had went to West Virginia that same day when that truck, when that truck, that hard body truck was pulled out in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the parking lot in Mr. Terry's, you know, shop. And supposedly, you know, Mr. Terry said Jimmy stole such and such, like a, a A-frame or whatever, and it's like a $12,000 A-frame or whatever. And Jimmy was like, you know, I don't know why would he say that because what would he do with that and the truck he had couldn't even carry that much weight and you know he that's a, you got to get that with a forklift how would he be able to you know to take it all the way up to west virginia like that and you know get it off of there because what would, he was like what 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 can he do with a man frame you know and he don't have nowhere else you know where else to go or whatever you know besides sell it which he you know he wouldn't even do that you know but anyways, besides the point, that's still at the shop. And I did notice, I'm like, hmm, the A-frame, it's basically off of the uh, RV truck they were working on. And it was still sitting on there by the little house they were living in, where Jimmy and Rosie were living in at the shop. And I did notice that, that was still over there when I went to go visit Mr. Terry, you know, to find out what happened and stuff like that. So, I don't know, Jimmy's saying, you know, if he has proof that he stole that, you know, put it up on the camera. And then that right there caught my attention too. I'm like, you right. You know, I didn't think about none of that. Right, like, like, you know, that should have came to my mind at first at any time because anytime we would be at the shop late at night, Mr. Terry would be watching us on his camera. So while all of a sudden, you know, yeah, 
like I was saying, so why all of a sudden would the spirit be like, you know, he can't go to the police and say anything because he wouldn't have any proof. So here's the kick about that. So the car is basically Mr. Terry and his, you know, my car and all the other cars, basically they disappeared, right? And they're not in at any scrapyard down here. So it's a guy, Mr. Terry, no, we don't know about this. Basically doing Mr. Terry's dirty work. He is um, basically like he can get a he can get any type of car any car out of your hand, you know, regardless if you have a title or not, and make it disappear like that. And you won't ever see that car like again, unless you know you make him confess about it. So basically, that guy I'm hearing has like basically like a bounty on, on him. Not necessarily a bounty, but like you could say you could really, you could really say a bounty, but you know he if you you know get him to confess he won't be able to uh he'll freeze up basically and you know come out with the truth and so what i'm hearing is mr terry basically is uh you know making us think it's all on jimmy and i didn't you know i apologize about that you know about jimmy because he hit me up and seen my youtube video you know i apologize about that you know i just you know that's what i thought you know and so Come to find out, Mr. Terry is bagged up on a lot of work, you know, because Jimmy isn't working with him and he doesn't have nobody working with him. And uh basically that A-frame or whatever, that's he charged those people like thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, thirty thousand dollars just to um rebuild the motor on that. I think rebuild the motor and a couple of other things on the RV truck, and it's like a the RV truck is old. But still, thirty thousand dollars, and he didn't finish that car. Like he didn't finish that RV. So here's the kicker too: the guy, the car, all those cars. He's saying, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened to all those cars. Basically, he do know. The guy he knows. He know. He know a guy. The guy I'm telling y'all about that can get rid of the cars and make them disappear. That's the person who took all the cars. And Mr. Terry is the one that did that. Mr. Terry told him to come get them. Because Jimmy was pissed off and he just drove off like he he'll do that like he did that before he went all the way to West Virginia in a day basically you know he'll drive way up there and you know you won't answer a phone call or anything he'll just be you know doing that so I'm thinking what why would he do that you know and like he I always asked Jimmy well um what's Tanner gonna do with his 300 and stuff like that you know I'm thinking, oh, you know, at least he'll let me keep it here for a little bit until I can, you know, put a motor in and whatever. So, I found out he did that. And I started to think, that's when the camera situation comes in. They were like, so, if you think about it, Tan, it's like, you know, why don't you ask him if you have proof of Jimmy still in the A-frame? Pull it up on the, uh, pull it up on the camera and you see the truth basically basically i see the truth and see who really did you know take all the cars and stuff well jimmy probably won't be on it the guy that mr terry is letting do the dirty work for him will be on that camera and jimmy won't be probably probably won't be on there anyways because he left in a day this still happened like this still was going on when jimmy was you know traveling so that that blew my mind about that you know i'm thinking oh mr terry you know is a nice guy this and that and this and that well he got people doing dirty work for him and you know i didn't i didn't look at none of that you know that blew past me i didn't think he would do anything like that so yeah so that's why he was saying he don't have any proof of evidence that jimmy stole it to the police department because if he pulled up the camera the guy that, you know, basically took all the cars and stuff, he'll get in trouble. He'll go to jail for like, he'll probably be in there for life. And Mr. Terry, he can go to jail. He'll probably, he'll be in like deep, deep, deep trouble probably because he's letting him do all the dirty work and he scrapped a lot of people's, you know, car that had titles, title and anything, everything on it. And didn't tell, bother to tell them come get it from the shop or anything. And he just scrapped it like that. Knowing people had, you know, Thing, like they had people had 
Like I had a motor, the Camaro had a motor, the Civic had a motor. All those cars basically had a motor besides the Shell, you know, we had bought a while back for Alec. That didn't have a motor, but they still was gonna, you know, build a motor and put one in there. And basically that went to crap because we didn't, we had to, basically had to wait. They were debating on what they wanted to do with the Shell, but still, he still had the title for it. I didn't have a title or anything for it. I still got my key. Only thing I got for it is my key. My motor's still over there. Hopefully, that's what I need to go get. My motor's still over there, and my hood, my OEM hood for the black seat is still over there, and that's it. Everything else is gone. Like, I had to put all my parts and stuff inside the Z, even my head, and, you know, that's it. Only thing I got is my good parts, like, basically to rebuild the motor. And I was, you know, mad about that, and I thought Jimmy had to get all that. But, you know, I apologize for that, you know. I didn't think about it. I didn't know... You know, I think about the cameras and all that because really that would have came in handy. That really would have came in handy because he do watch a lot of people at his shop, you know, at nighttime. And all of a sudden he can't pull up proof that Jimmy stole something. So this whole time we were thinking Jimmy did all of this. When I thought about it and sat down and I'm like, you're right. Why would, how would you even do that? make six cars disappear in a day and you know and not have it at a scrapyard or anything because really you can find a car down here easily in the scrapyard or anything but yeah so basically Jimmy was telling me what I should do is call the guy he gave him the guy number because Jimmy only had I think only one car from him from him and uh from, yeah, I think he had one car he had to get rid of from him that really they didn't, they didn't need anymore. It was just a trash car. And he found the number and basically he told me to call him and ask him about, you know, my Z. Basically asking him, can I get some parts off of it? Mr. Terry told me, you know, I can get some parts off of it and he wanted me to see if he still had the car. And that's when I can find out the truth. You know, if the car, if he still had the car, he either crushed the car or anything. And then right there and then I could have, you know, just recorded his voice of him saying that. And both of them would be in trouble, basically, you know, because they were both in the situation, you know, when that happened or whatever. But, like I said, I'm really not worried about, you know, if my car is still, you know, available or anything. It's just, I just want to know the truth. And... As long as I find out the truth, that's all that matters. Because right now, I really, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to worry about it too much because at least I still have my all my good parts. And at least I still have, you know, a running Z. A running Z, you know, I can drive daily and all that. So, yeah. But I just wanted to find out the truth. And that's all I wanted to let y'all know. That's why I haven't really been talking too much about, you know, Bloody Zilla or anything. Or really trying to worry about Bloody Zilla. Because I can't do nothing right now. All I want is the truth. That's all I want. And I still don't know the truth. Because I called the guy. As a matter of fact, I called him too. And I recorded his voice of him talking. And it was a lot of mess going on in the background. So he was like, I have to call you back and all this. And he never called me back. Never. I didn't bother to call him back. Because then he probably knew something was up. So, Yeah. If basically we can get like all the people cars he took, we can get him to fold and basically say, yeah, I did this and that. Because, you know, nobody wants to go to jail for life for whatever they did. You know, they want to be you know, on a free, a free, basically, a, you know, a good, happy life, you know, with nothing bothering them. So what he would do probably is fold and then get Mr. Terry in trouble because Mr. Terry is basically in on the deal. You know, and Mr. Terry will owe a lot of people uh, money for that, for scrapping people's cars. Because basically, I think, who well, I don't know how it works about that, about the scrapping situation, but he owe, he will owe a lot of people money because those are cars people, you know, were planning on putting money into. And he didn't bother to ask the customers or whatever. He just went on up and did it. So... I don't know, and then another thing is, too, I still be sketched out is why all of a sudden Jimmy decides to hit me up this year and not last year, you know. <clears throat> but I'm still sketched out about that, too, because they could have been said something about that, too. 
But I don't know which way to go. I just wanted the truth, that's all. And that's all I want to let y'all know too. Or uh, about, you know, what what well what I really talked about, you know, what I was talking about when I was gonna shout out. Let let y'all know about, you know, I can do a separate video about, you know, Bloody Zilla. So yeah. But wherever it is, hopefully she, you know, she will be missed. That's all I gotta say. She will be missed. Because that that's the Z that started my channel. And you know, I plan I really worked my butt off to try to get that car up and running when I first bought it, you know, and all that. So Yeah. Be careful who you trust. That's all I gotta say. Be careful who you trust. But yeah, that's all I want to say you guys. I ain't gonna hold y'all up too long. I just wanted to make this little short video about, you know, Bloody Zilla, so yeah. Um Yeah. Like I said, um, I'm gonna keep trying to, you know, do these videos. Hopefully, I can fix my camera and see what's going on with it. Cause I need to take some more photos of my Z. Like I've been slacking, and I've been looking, I've been looking at a camera too. So I'm gonna check it out soon. It doesn't. It's like three hundred some dollars, and it has a. It's basically where I can see my face, and I can have that one for. I probably end up selling that one, or whatever, because I want to give me a better camera for better quality pictures, and yeah. So. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. Um, thank y'all for you know watching this vlog, and hopefully I see y'all again.